and wherever you go. Now that's no sir! If you pound it, let's get by. Here's a practical reply. Go ahead, let's slice, spit right in his eye and say no! no. Cartoon Hello and welcome to the Nostalgia Roaches video commentary story, of the television special Cartoon All Stars to the Rescue. I'm your loyal your host, Edgar Velasco, and with me now is my hetero life mate, Mr. Robert Manes. Alright, are you ready for some pizza and so some cheap beer and some cheap Talk weed? Now, for those who don't know, right Cartoon All Stars to the Rescue was uh, an effort by, you know, presidents and government types to, you know, prevent awareness for drugs mm -hmm. um, drug abuse drug, you know drug alcohol. alcohol you know and they the best mm -hmm. way to reach kids at the time mm -hmm. was fucking have cartoons from various you know companies get together to stop a kid from smoking fucking weed and out drinking of his dad's cheap ass piss beer out, out of all things it's fucking weed that's the problem yeah that's like that's the least of it unless you get like that fake ass weed yeah, but even then, like, you know, it's, you know, you have to admit, it's something you're never gonna see. Just like Who from Roger Rabbit, where licensing and all these characters just fucking show up out of nowhere. Yeah, especially like, here we go, right away, Smurf Village. More importantly, he comes from a fucking comic book, which is, you know, interesting because it's not really a cartoon, per se. He comes out of the comic book world. Yeah. And... Out of nowhere, Big Papa Smurf decides to just narc out, well, like, the piggy bank is done. So wait, 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 you just call him Big Papa Smurf? Big so he's, Papa like, notorious B.I.G. Smurf? No, no, Big Papa Smurf, you know, yep. holler if you hear me. Yep. And it right away, there's no backstory. There's, yeah, fucking Belmackian Gordon yep. Shumway because of a piggy bank. Of course, Garfield. You know, voiced by the original voice actor, yeah. uh, Lorenzo, Lorenzo Music. music. Yeah. Mind you, there's a lamp sticking out his ass because he's not a cartoon, he's a, one of those lamps with the eyes light up. And he's not gonna get involved unless there's lasagna help? involved. Or do you wanna be lunch? Or, hey, but you know what, there. You, you wanna go. help out or be lunch? Yeah. Guess what, Alf that's set his ass straight. Cause he'll eat his fucking pussy dry. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, you're dealing with a with a cat-eating alien. And again, mind you, these were all cartoons that aired during the time. Oh, uh, of course, they come out of a record. The Chipmunks. Uh, and the weird thing is, like, all of them know, like, oh, wow, this kid's fucking piggy bank is gone. And then, like, and he's watching, Alf is watching, you know, fuck, I mean, Alvin is watching fucking porn, Days of Our Lives, making sure he's getting into trouble somewhere in Discord land. And, uh, no, and of course, you're not allowed to be, you're not allowed to be watching nothing. <laughs> exactly. But it's interesting to know that, like, all this, like, oh, how many poo. times do you remember watching this oh on VHS or on TV, Rob? I only watched this, I think, like, one time on TV, and I think one of my relatives tried to give me the VHS of this, and my mom was just confused about why the hell are these Come cartoons on, doing it? But here's the thing. The, the main thing is all cartoons from that time, you know, they were oh, yeah. all popular, Disney Afternoon or whatever block on CBS, NBC, and the local networks. All of them were telling you, you know, you know, trying to educate you in, you know, drugs and how they're bad and everything. Mm -hmm. But the thing about that is when you realize it that all these cartoons come to life the minute you smoke pot, won't that more, for me, it encourages me like, oh wow, I should do yeah. more drugs more if I'm gonna hang out oh, with my god, cartoon character. Oh god, fucking Slimer! That's the only real The ghost. house is possessed! Exactly! The house is fucking possessed and they have Slimer here! And the weird thing is, out of all the, the Ghostbusters characters, it has to be Slimer because he was the one that were appealing more towards kids. Yeah, of course. Oh, everybody wants a Slimer plushie, but I'm like, he's an ugly little spud, isn't he? Well, again, the character is based on Jim Belushi, right? Yeah, uh, supposedly. No, James Belushi. Uh, no, it is Jim. Okay, Jim, yeah. Uh, I was wondering which Belushi brother. The, the good one died, but the bad one is the one that still remains acting. The good one actually got into Twin Peaks and he did a hell of a good job. <laughs> and... No it's re it's funny to know like all this, you know. Good credit to the people involved because that these animators were able to capture the same art style and whatnot from this, you know, cartoon. Mm -hmm. But aside from all that, right. oh shit, son, take all that money, yep. Mad Cheddar for fuck. Steal fucking. my money, bitch. 
Do, do you really think that that much is gonna get you some weed? Well, to be we honest, sort of it's not even a dime bag. A dime bag even at that time was like 20 bucks. Yeah, that it was wasn't even a dime. And adjusted for inflation, dime bag nowadays is like what, like 35, 40 bucks? Like, piggy bank? is that my I piggy bank? Yeah, yeah, I'm taking it for some cheap ass it's weed now. that I'm gonna buy with fucking spare change. You probably might even buy like one piss beer on that. Like not even a piss beer. Like the closest thing you get like that, those cheap ass like 40 ounces. Yeah, that's like what two bucks. Here, Al here, Alvin, take a whiff. Okay, oh, I understand no. weed, but what the heck was was that a dick clamp? I have no idea what the hell he's got. What kind of sick fetish this kid's got? Yeah, like it looked like a couple of roaches and some matches. It's weird. I think he probably got some cheap ass shit, man. He got cheap if fucking Theodore doesn't know what the fuck that is. Yeah. What's that? What's that shit they put in there? The the fake stuff, the angel dust or something? And it's funny, like. Did he just say fuck you to his sister? I wish he said fuck you, but this is a kid's film, and we're the only ones who are allowed to say. Oh look, weed is giving you the red eyes. Weed is giving you the red eye. It's like, you know what also gives you red eye? Lack of sleep. Alone, or someone farted you? in your pillow. Oh, God. And you gotta smell that all night? Thing. Fuck you, Alf. What the hell? Michael? And it, it's it's weird. Oh, are we gonna see a tear close up? I'm crying even though I could oh, not. I could narc big on my brother. Poor big brother. I could <laughs> narc on him and maybe oh, save us yeah. a time, but then we wouldn't get the adventure with all these cartoon characters at the time. Yeah, so what the hell? We, he needs our help to get out of weed, so let's jump into the real world where we probably have no control over what's going on and just leave Pooh Bear to fuck himself. Yeah, Pooh Poo Bear ain't going nowhere. Commercial break, we're after this. Video arcade! arcade. Oh, apparently weed make? makes you want to play arcade games. Oh yeah, well again, yeah, we used to fucking good. smoke weed and play fucking Miss Pac-Man all day, man. What the hell are you talking about? God. Wait, yeah. was it Miss Pac-Man? No, I, I think I used to play a lot yeah, of uh, Street Fighter 2. <laughs> oh yeah, you got oh you got crystal meth, rocks, man. Yeah. Bitch, you want smoke some rocks, bitch? You want some crack? Oh, that was because it's the 80s. That was the big scare. That was crack. the big crack. You know, okay. right next to fucking you know AIDS. Hey, I got AIDS rocks. Hey, that kid looks familiar. That redhead kid looks a lot fa really familiar. Is he, is he Wheeler from Captain Planet? Oh, so that's what Wheeler we used to be like before he got the ring. Hey, they didn't call him Wheeler for nothing he yeah. wheeled and wheeling dealing. and dealing man <laughs> so that's why wheeler was a bad kid and then guys reformed him exactly you know he was a bad kid you know all the redheads they have no souls mm -hmm. and look, kids and it looks like he had lincoln with him too and it's oh also the person voicing the smog weed monster is a uh, legendary actor uh george c scott if Wait. i remember yep general oh, he's Patton. a he's a fucking weed Sorry, dust of times like this you're on your own yeah, you're fucked, but I'll get you into fucking weed. Yeah, and this is what's really funny. All of these, all these hallucinations and everything is like, fuck time. you, kid. Honest, I'll never do it again. I'll never do it. See, he was about to say, I'm not gonna smoke huh? weed if I get knocked you know, out. But then when he sees okay, fucking Bugs Bunny, he says, oh, oh, it's a cartoon character. Okay, let me go back to smoking my crack rocks. Yeah, apparently I haven't had enough yet. You were running from a rabbit? Yeah, and it, the, 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 here's the thing. He even said, like, I'm not going to do it again. So if it was a real cop, he would have stopped. But no, let's... Uh, freaking Bugs Bunny had to fuck it all up because he's a wisecracker. You know, of course, you know, ain't he a so stinker? Good. Exactly. A joint? See, so Bugs knows vision? shit about I drugs. Mean, he's been there I during those times. Dude, he picked it up. He picked it up and said, hey, to. this is a what joint. All right? you. I know my drugs. Dude, Reefer Madness, that was big shit back then in the 30s. That's right. Mel Blanc smoked that shit before he voiced every damn character and killed himself eventually with cancer. Well, I probably wouldn't doubt it though. I probably should that everybody involved probably had themselves a knock or two. I borrowed it from It's ridiculous to know that all this effort, like, when we watch this as kids, we, did we ever realize, like, does this really help us at all? For us, especially for kids, like, oh my god, I get to watch my favorite cartoons. Uh, oh, before I go on, this was aired multi multi on multiple networks at the same time. Uh, yeah. So all the major well, networks aired this the same special at the same time Sorry, on the same right, day right. and, you know, of course, uh, multiple repeats throughout maybe the week or the month. Mm -hmm. So we would catch it on repeats and everything. I remember recording, I remember watching it during the debut when it first aired 
and like it air again it aired all the networks at the same fucking time and the weird thing is i never got enough of it because i would watch my favorite cartoons interacting with it and um did you know that the vhs tape is supposed to be a free rental. Was supposed to be a free rental at your video store. Oh yeah, I remember you, that. You were supposed to go to the video store, and if you saw it on the aisles, you just grab it, and it counts as a free rental. But of course, places like Blockbuster or even neighborhood video stores would put a sticker over that stick they label, so you still had to pay to rent it, even though in reality it was a free fucking rental. I, I, it's like I think like they're gonna milk it for all it's worth, however insanely fucked up it is. No, but it, it, it's funny because it's supposed to be free. But of course, over your stores just put a sticker over that t label just to fucking, you know, charge you two extra bucks so you can watch a 30 minute fucking uh, animated special with all the cartoon characters. Yeah. And again, a, a fan fiction gone way off the rails. Exactly, without the, you know, furry fucking or whatever fisting. Oh, thank God for that, though. I suppose if there's one redeeming factor of this whole entire thing, it's none of that. When I was a kid, dude, you're still all our kid. Oh shit! Origin stories. Look, T's should not mess with M's because they're they're trouble. Yeah. Or they're copyright trademarks. Well, yeah, they could trademark. There you go. What's the matter? You want to jump? You want to puff? No. Want to puff a pass? You want to puff the cigarillo? I didn't want him to think I was a wimp. Better a wimp than an all-day sucker. Better, better a wimp than an all-day okay. sucker. I'd rather be a wimp, uh, an all-day like sucker than a wimp. Because at least it'll sh I'm not, I'm tough. Yeah. That's like, you know, what if they were trying, what if they were smoking by conscious decision? And also, hey, you know, you're trying to be cool, you know, trying to weed, and the weird thing is, weed is a relaxing substance. I always found it weird when I watch Reefer Madness or anything when people depict weed as something else that it's not. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I hey, I do it to relax. Nothing bad with that. I still haven't seen any cartoons fucking come to life. I must have get be getting that cheap shit then. I don't know. You must be getting the good stuff. <laughs> no, I want to hang out with fucking Pooh Bear, the Chipmunks, and whatever fucking cartoon. Although here's the funny thing. At least these cartoons were good. What if I do that now and see cartoons, there'll be fucking, what, you know, Teen what Titans Go, you? Uncle Grandpa, God, and fuck, all these weird-ass cartoons. Oh, God, then I'll be like, you know what, I'm gonna just fucking throw the shit down I and I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run down the street screaming. It'll be the shit cartoons. Or, or the cartoons that I don't really like. If you, you want to damage your lungs, you go right ahead. It's your decision. But yeah. again... You, the fact that he, sure. uh, it must be some cheap ass weed What's if he's gonna buy it off from Michael? his loose change from his fucking really sister's weird. piggy bank. Yeah, Corey, and he's been snaking his dad's piss beer. And teenager. his dad with his Freddie Don't Mercury grow, mustache realizes, hey, someone's been taking my shitty uh, ass beer, <laughs> my uh, Jostens, <laughs> or whatever uh, shit. Was it Bud Billy Weiser? Beer? No, fucking Billy Beer. Billy Beer. Oh my god. Oh shit! Yeah. Look, hanging out with Blossom and uh, Token so, Black Kid. Oh wait, wait. He has no name. He's just... checking out. Wait a he minute. Got some slack, man. I just fucking realized. What? On, These are the fucking Burger King's Kids Club. Oh shit! That's what they've been doing that's, afterwards. That's, that's the kid, the black kid who eats the burgers. That's the punk kid who, the girl. That's Blossom. Yep. Stealing. What the fuck Stealing is that? His wallet. That his wallet? Yeah. I thought it was a cell phone because that's it was. Just... Nope, wallet. This is the 80s cell phones? Oh, of course. Of, well, no, here's the thing. If you're gonna get the Ninja Turtles in this to help drug, you know, that drive the aware, drug awareness, you're gonna portray it by having the one that really represents stoning. Stoner, pe yeah, so stoner mentality. Cool. Stoner mentality, and the first thing is cowbug, dude. Don't smell, <laughs> don't smoke weed, man. Cause I got the harder you shit. Yeah, it, but you dude, thinking. smoke weed, Come chow down on, down on pizza, and and, and, and that's the what thing. You smoke weed and get hunger, you know, hunger pangs. Your brain mm -hmm. must be like really. Yeah, it's like Dully realizes it's like yeah, you smoke weed. It's like what's the worst you do? Oh, I ordered like two old pizzas for myself. Hey, I was hungry, man. Oh, hey, sometimes when I'm hungry, I just have a whole pizza by myself. There you go. Sure, I fucking jog for like 20 miles to lose it, but still something. Yeah, and considering too, in New York, when you order a pizza, you get a pizza. But back, I like it that we're just talking over this instead of like being like factual, giving. Oh, you're about to take a trip. You're about to take a trip from fucking Weedville, bitch. You know, poor Jim Henson. Oh God. The weird thing is, Jim Hansen must have been smoking some fucking reefer to create all these fucking puppets. Probably was, who knows? Um, 
I mean, I come on, he has a uh, uh, he has a puppet show that features a pig fucking a frog. So you already know that he's been taking some yeah. shit. I, and she's so insanely jealous that whenever he she catches him with anybody else, she sends him fucking hacking. And like, hey, look, this is your brain on fucking smoking weed. It glitters for some fucking reason. It sparkles. I don't. And there's a ton of smoke everywhere. You're gonna crash. And for some reason, all of his neurons are purple. And I can, and the weird thing is, scientifically, you should have had uh, Bunsen and Beaker. Oh yeah, Th because they're the scientist Muppets. Yeah. But in reality, no, you have to have Kermit and Miss Piggy because they're the head, they're the stars of the show. Yeah. Whatever Muppet-related shit. Oh they god, check it out. His brain's firing on all cylinders. And fucking Gonzo. This is one of the things artist rendition of what we does to you. What, so your brain fires on all cylinders? No, apparently we just went into a whole section of, uh, this is a rejected scene from fucking Cool World. Or Altered States. Oh, you know what? Or Videodrome. Oh, yeah, there you go. Farewell to the flesh. And to weed them. This is something that Cronenberg would probably do. No, and here's the part that it takes a weird, twisted turn. Mm -hmm. Like, it me? goes into the surreal. This is like that. It, like we were inside me. This is what we experience when I Pretty smoke cool, weed. Huh? And look, they're, they're fine. It's good. Well, this is just your first blunt, piggy. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. You know, smoked ham is a delicacy. Hey, he's gonna uh, I can't. Skateboard. I can't. Well, for one thing, put both your feet on the board, dickhead. Yeah, that would probably help. Like this is the part where it takes a weird, surreal kind of thing. Oh, there's an exit to your mind. Where is that? The fucking colon? I don't fucking know. Huh? There's no, no escape. There's no escape it's from your brain. brain. Like, th this is the the part that it starts going into the whole surrealism. Mm -hmm. Maybe certain Somebody visual aspects to depict what Somebody. your brain must feel like when it goes through weed, but it doesn't make any fucking sense. As, as further on, Tell we're gonna have me. further examples. Oh, and there you. Uh, of course. Uh, you know, here's the funny thing. Originally, it was supposed oh, to be Donald, Goofy, and Mickey, mm -hmm. but of course, they're too they're too important for that shit. Yeah. We're not gonna teach. They're the most influential characters in Disney's uh, Rogues Gallery. But no, let's just fucking have Huey, Louie, and Dewey. Kids who are probably more susceptible to drugs anyway. God. It's like, yeah, of course. Oh, kids can't be telling kids, don't do drugs. Oh, see, he's trying to sell them the weed too. They, they'll do it. But hey, guess what? We're going to break into the most popular, well, the only song into this whole series, right? Yeah. Uh, Million Wonderful Ways to Say No, or something, whatever it is. Here's a practical reply. You know what, you know what, all credit to the voice actor who's voicing multiple characters, because I believe the guy who voices Tigger also voices crew and voices somewhere else. And, you know, and the chip, whoever voices Chipmunk is just yeah. someone I'm put on auto speed fast. But yeah, it doesn't really matter who voices the Chipmunks, because he's just got to raise the pitch of the voice. But, like, you know, some characters voice multiple characters from different shows, and this guy and whoever was the voice actor was getting a good payday out of it. Yeah, he pretty much just like... You walk home with a big chat, six figure check. I got my period! I missed my period! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, no, because this song you basically say, hey, make up excuses so you don't have to smoke weed. So, you know, my hamster died, I need to do my homework. I missed my period, I swallowed some jizz. Uh, if I don't get home on time, my mom will beat me. You know, <laughs> I don't know. The pilot crashed into the sun. I, I gotta get my dick pierced. You know what other? Come on, Robert. What ooh, other excuses? That is, ooh, that one hurt. That one just hurt. Like you know, uh, uh, you know, I need to meet with my liaison. I don't know. Um, I gotta meet with the copyright lawyer because he wants to sue me the fuck out of me for all of these. Oh my god, it was all a nightmare. It was all a nightmare. Oh, you gotta get back into my shit. I thought I told you to stay out of here. Wants it's weird how the animation gets better as it Dad, progresses sometimes. Like, it, like, huh, we hired the Korean artists, now we hired the Japanese ones. Before, Can you tell when the difference in animation dips or oh, gets yeah. better? Which studio is doing which? Say a word to Mom oh, shit, hurt her. Ow, you're Ow. me. Ow. Yeah, yeah, get violent, bitch. Uh, get violent. Get smacked. Didn't mean to. That's what you get. You get hurt. Pesky. 
Brad. You did the right this thing. is just so insanely goofy. He just he basically like sister. went like, uh, no, but ow. it's supposed to depict like him right. getting like he gets superly aggressive, Shh. even though again, weed is a right. relaxing but drug. I Unless he's probably one of those people that just doesn't. Oh really shit! I did to too it. much weed. I'm turning to a Melmacian. Oh my god! I think I'm out. Here, let me. Wait, I'm gonna pull you into the weed mirror world. I just saw myself. Man, this just gets more really and more bizarre. Uh, no, no, but again, the it's all is, their different depictions of what the animators the or the really writers are. think what weed this is. One, for like here, you what look you fine in a fucking me? funhouse mirror and all that me? shit. Wrong. Flag on the play. Ten point penalty. Hope he said flag and not the other word. Ah. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. This is you. This is you under smoke weed. Huh? No, it's not. See, drugs aren't your pal. It's your the weird thing is like they the they battle. say that drugs, but control. the main drug they're focusing on too. is I'm weed. Yeah, mind. that's the thing. Wrong. They don't say right. that he has a super addiction. Yeah, he steals me. his father's beer, charge. but beer ain't bad. Yeah, if, you know moderation, of course. But weed. The they're oh, they're saying we like we they're saying drugs, but in reality they're saying just weed. No, oh, there's a the man in charge. The man in charge, corporate. You mean uh, cor drug corporations that overprice for drugs that can help humanity? Stop. Yeah, I just noticed too. Like when he looked in the I mirror, know? it's like you look all horrible and haggard and everything because it's like that could probably be if you did meth or something. That's what I mean. Yeah, and then the the thing about that is like again, like I mentioned again. They Open say the that, oh, drugs, we're po putting a stop on drugs, we're on drugs. But this cartoon says weed. Yeah. Like, it, it would have been different if he was a kid doing all types of drugs or some shit like that. He's uh, just doing weed. I was hiding, I was waiting for Winnie the Pooh to hit the wall and just explode into a million fibers. He's, he, no, he's one of those super $50, you know, very expensive toy ones. Like, if you break, you're fucking gonna be paying that yeah. through fucking Mommy yard, buying you another. your yard work until, like, two, four years from now. Somebody help me! How do I get out of here? I don't know, how do you get out of here? No, this is his Mindscape. This is one of those, this is like that movie, Mindscape. Oh yeah. He turns into the Cobra, and again, look, fucking DuckTales characters want to kill him. Because they tried, and at the end of the day, you're like, you know what, fuck this kid, let's kill him. Into his mind, let's fucking turn this into fucking Saw. Angry DuckTales faces oh, yeah. want to kill you. Huey wants to kill him. You know, and eventually, you know, you, you, you say, you know what, I'm tired of this shit. Let him go fuck himself. Let him die. Isn't there a scene later on where he starts like imagining like his flesh melting off his face or something? I don't know, but right now he seems to be in an intestinal uh, yeah. digestive tract. Bye guys! Yo, Tigger can give two shits! The wonderful thing, thing about Tiggers is they don't give a shit about you! He's not giving a shit, it's what Tiggers do best! Exactly, exactly. You know, one of the... He's one of those ones that don't give a shit, and that's why people love Tigger. Because Tigger doesn't give a shit about you. And of course, there you go. It's just getting more and more bizarre from here. And again, I, I, I can understand what they're trying to show, or what they're trying to. But again, as a kid, again, Robert, you will admit that when we're kids, we're stupid. We don't know any better. So we're, for us, we're just watching fucking cartoons. You know, and again, the fact that this aired on prime time, on all networks, like, hey, this is airing at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. This is airing at 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Like, we don't give a shit. Hey, guess what? That's the first time she ever has a spit. She, ah. usually, she usually swallows. Ah. Anyway, just looking at his ass like, oh my god, I just shit my pants. But... See your future. <laughs> It's hilarious to know that all this effort was really oh, for yeah. nothing when you think about it. There we go, Daffy. Well, uh, and then the, it, you notice the animation completely changes. It gets more Warner Brothers slapsticky. In my crystal ball. I gotta see who that. That's a no. bowling ball, you idiot. No, no, but it's going stupid. It's yeah. going stupid because, again, it's trying to be silly, but still trying to show, you know. Sounds it, right to me. That, oh my god, we're still being cartoony, but we're tackling a serious the subject. Okay, so I just looked it up right now, and the animation studio behind this whole entire thing is actually located in Taiwan. So it's a Taiwanese studio, hence why the animation quality dips in certain areas. Yep. Does not have very high quality control. Well, again, you try to get all these cartoons. You're, you're paying for copyrights and yeah. rights and stuff, so like... We, yeah, that's where all the budget went. That's where all the budget went. You, you, the, the animation studio can be someone from a fucking back alley in Chinatown for all you care. Yeah, as long as it gets animated. I don't think I want to see this. 
Gee, where do you find yourself in 50 years? It's me. Meth head. This is my future? Yes. If you don't get all those drugs, you But again, lose, you they lose. say drugs, but he's smoking just weed. I, I can understand that there were like certain parts that he said, hey, you know what? I'm smoking weed. I'm injecting myself. I'm snorting some crack. Although, yeah, he was offered crack in the arcades, but... Maybe yeah, we should watch him do some. Just the way you are. Maybe he did, Without and this is what he, the effect of it is. Why screwing with his head here? so bad? But again, he's doing so. But here's the thing: Do you think if he didn't do drugs at all, he no. would be seeing all these cartoons come to life? Slap that shit! That's my weed. Corey. I swear, I think one of them, ever, one of those things in that box was a dildo. Though. But they again, that's something else. I was a dope. I was wrong. And this is, and it, or Maggie takes a whole 180. The minute he finds out, like, oh my god, my sister wants to do the weed because she wants to be closer to me, and I'll just stop for that one reason. And be like, no, dude, you can't do this. This is not good for you. Talk to mom and dad. They'll, they'll keep you locked up. I've listened to you long enough. Hey. Somehow he's, he grants cartoon physics. Again, it's cartoon physics and everything like that. It, it's understandable. I'll be back. And he never was, because this cartoon special only aired once, and it was never even... Well, how would you make a sequel out of this? I don't know. And anyway, if you really want to get rid of him, give him the dip. No. Oh, right! That's it, and it's done. Yeah, literally, that is it. Oh, here, let me get Pooh Bear out of there. Thank goodness. I thought I was going to miss something important. Wait! But you were all actual objects. You don't jump back into the cartoon world. The Smurfs were a part of the comic. Alf was a picture frame for some fucking reason. And now they're all in the picture frame. Uh, and with that... And that's it! Surprisingly, again... Roy just, Edward Disney. And again, all this for something that no kids at the time didn't give a shit about when you think about it. Like, no one really cared. Like, I only watch again, I rented it, I watched it, I recorded it off of TV, and then I realized, like, it didn't do anything. It was, for a dumb kid like me, it was basically, I get to watch my cartoons in a time, in a time area that wasn't really relegated to Saturday mornings. Yeah. And it's just like, but it was like, a really weird way of watching it. It definitely was, but it, it, it brings up more questions and hilarious, you know, Maybe things about it, stories about it, like, you know, maybe he, whether he, maybe the little kid became a drug addict down the line, or maybe he got into heavy porn, you know, or maybe he relapsed, maybe he went to some AAs, maybe he went to get intervention, and, get, and, and then realized, hey, guess what, I liked it better when I did weed and did drugs, because guess what, I got to hang out with my favorite cartoon, of the cartoon characters of that popular time frame, 80s, mid 90s. And you know what? Maybe if he did stay on the weed, he probably would have opened an ISP. He would have been a, a billionaire techie. There you go. Or actually open a weed center somewhere in uh, fucking Portland. Uh, there you go. Medical marijuana. It's a legal way of doing it. Now, we did remember, we forgot to mention that this was definitely sponsored by Ronald McDonald House. Mm -hmm. Also by George and Barbara Bush. And oh, here comes all the copyrights. You know, fucking Paul, Cindy, Louis, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Slimer. Slimer. I was uh, like, Slimer didn't do shit! The creation of Peyo. And worse, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird were just collecting all that money. Hey, you know, they didn't care. Eastman Kodak, there you 1990, go. 1990, yes, yeah. 1990. So we were, it was at this cusp where good cartoons were still around. Yeah, we were like 10, 11 years old. And again, this was all paid for. You know, between this and Mac and me, the only good thing that McDonald's made was fucking this. Many faces yeah. of Ronald so anyway, I guess that wraps it up for now. That definitely wraps it up. I'm definitely not going to say anything offensive over this because Lord knows I like to be a sensible human being. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we thank you for enjoying our video commentary of, of, of Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue. But until then, this is Edgar Velasco saying take care and so long. And again, yep. and Robert Menes with... Think of all the little children. Because love lifts us all where we belong. You know what, though? It's a good thing that they do.